Tim is 54 years old. His baby's mother keeps his son away from him, and he wants advice. Well, um, hi, hi, Tim. Hey, how you doing, Wendy? I'm doing well. How are you? Happy holidays to you. Thank you. Go ahead, Tim. Well, my question is, you know, I was involved with this young lady. You know, I was actually, I was madly in love with this young lady. And we just, we had a child, you know, unbeknownst to me, she got pregnant. She told me months into the pregnancy after we had broken up. Mm -hmm. But because I was the father of the child, and I felt a sense of responsibility to afford her and her process of being pregnant, seeing doctors and the whole nine. Mm -hmm. Uh, Then she got pregnant as she blew up. She began to break my car windows, all my cars. Every time I turned it on, she was breaking the window. I lived in Westchester. She lived in Manhattan. Breaking windows and eating chalk. To break my car windows because I wouldn't move in with her. Oh. And and then ultimately she had a child. And on the day of the birth of the child up in New York, up in Westchester County, where I lived at, I went to the hospital I uh, got her a private suite, got her balloons, the whole nine. Oh. Um, the day after she brought the baby home, I didn't know who was taking care of my son all the way up until about the third or fourth grade. And she kept him from me. And then finally, she had me mm. in court paying child support, which I didn't mind paying. I'm paying $1,000 a month, and then she still wow. denies me access wow. to my son. And I'm trying to figure out, should I just pay this bill and forget about the child, <clears throat> or should I do something different to have access to a son that I don't know who's 14 years of age now? Oh, my God. First thing, I wow. think she found a Mark Buster, what they say around the way. You need a paternity test. I had that done. It's yours? Yes. Okay. Would you like a relationship with this boy? Absolutely. I mean, I've been trying... You know, I send them gifts, toys. I send them watches, clothing. I send them money. An Xbox. Them, uh, Xbox. I Coco T. Wa- Hello, a 14-year-old does not want toys. Well, I, I try to offer my love, but his mother interferes with that. Okay. Um, you need to go around this and get into the system and find out what's going on. You're paying your money. You have your receipts. This boy is yes. old enough to say what he wants. And exactly. I'll bet you what a 14-year-old boy would say he wants most is an Xbox, a night with Superhead, and to know his father. Okay. Yes. I'll, I'll, I'll give that a shot, Wendy. Please uh, do. Christmas, I think about him most around the holidays and his birthday. You know, he was born on 9-11, so it's not a great day for him to celebrate. Right. But I try to make him feel like as though he's as important as any other person on that day. Yeah. And he's important to me. Well. But he continues to have an ambient, amb- ambiguous relationship with me because his mother is a, <clears throat> a total nutcase at this point. Let me tell you age. something. A 14-year-old boy can jump on a plane and fly by himself. A 14-year-old boy can jump on Amtrak and take a train ride by himself. A 14-year-old boy can be easily manipulated to understanding that his father wants to be with him. And without saying that you hate his mother or making him hate her. her. I don't hate her. I love everyone. Yes, listen, you, but but a little less love, a little more aggressiveness on your part, Dad. Don't lose the love, Tim. Okay. But, But you have to be a little bit more aggressive in what you want. And, and give this boy an option to be with you or not. And continue to send your money. Don't hold your money back. Get You know what? Get yourself a family court attorney. Okay? Mm-hmm. And do this the right way because you're 54. Right. Okay. All right. Thanks, sweetheart. I wish you well. God bless. Uh, yeah, and you too. Thanks, Tim. Okay. Bye-bye. I've been avoiding this call for 20 minutes. I can't avoid it anymore. Lester is 30, and he wants to talk about 